we just pulled up here to LJ's shop, which a few episodes ago, you've seen that Warrior kind of got a con- rear-ended and a container threw at it by Jaden. And Bruce rear-ended it. I found out who rear-ended me. Found that out. So, we seen last episode, the Nova was back at my my place, and the motor was out of it. And we got a new motor here, 632 Big Block. And as, well, before, before I get too far ahead of myself, you can see by the title, maybe the thumbnail, we are picking up the new car. The new car ain't fully complete. I don't know why I drew it up. It ain't fully complete yet, but most of it's complete, like the frame and all that. But first, before we look at it, I just ride, I just ride over there. I know we're sitting at, oh, y'all got a little glimpse. Duct tape is going to come back with me also today. So, motor is coming along decently. We sent it off to our heads guy so we can uh, make sure the um, God, piss is going to clear. God, I couldn't think I was going to say, oh, God, I am way out of it today. But motor's out of it. The front clip is actually... Ready to be mounted. I just gotta do it, so that's what I'm gonna take it with me. Oh, I'm, yeah, I almost caught another glimpse. Oh, y'all caught. Oh, y'all caught a big glimpse that time. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna probably redo some electronics in here. Come rewire everything. Patrick ain't going nowhere, y'all. So you don't have to worry. He's staying. Take them bottle mounts out. Put a different bottle mount in there. Oh, I, I realized. Roll cages here. Other than that, duct tape's gonna stay how it is. We're just gonna change the motor, electronic, and maybe the color. But here is the new project, which is gonna be a 60, 68 Nova. It's gonna be green, and it's gonna be called what, the Bad Apple. The shirt I wear all the time is the car I have decided to go off of. So, right now, sitting here, it's got the suspension in it, wheels, and rear end, and the drive shaft. And steering wheel, you kind of can't take off, because it's stuck there for right now. But here is the frame, and the roll cage is built. Now, don't mind where the roll cage is. It is mounted to the frame, but it is in one of the body kits. So, the car looks really nice. I mean, I'm saying, how the cage setup is... It shouldn't. It should be lighter than the other car. Plus, it's gonna have a race seat instead of the bench seat. Here's the new car. I've got these are the wheels we're gonna run on the front and rear. We have some wheels on the front. We have some um, strangers wheel on the back. I think is what they're called. But we're gonna go ahead and probably push this car out. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. It's going to be a lot of pushing here, y'all. We're going to take this car back to the uh, shop with us because I have the body that it's going to go on. And plus, it's probably better because I have all the electronics there, too. I'll look at that gate point up just in time. So basically, I'm going to do most of the work from here on out. LJ just did the chassis work and everything like that. We're gonna put it right here and we'll do our way to get it on there. I don't feel like fighting it anymore. So let's go fight. Oh, I don't wanna bring duct tape with me because I gotta fight it to get it out. Oh, this car actually turns way better. We'll just go out this gate over here, y'all. This door and gate. But like I was saying, I have the base, like the fenders, like the body of the car at my house. So I'm just going to mount it there for on the Nova. And I'm taking duct tape with me. Like I said, we're going to do some electronic work. Um, this door ain't going to open for me. So we're going to just make a U-turn, I guess. But, I mean, other than that, this is kind of what the video is going to be like. Just me, picking up the car, going back to the house. It's a little short video. Not going to be a long video. Also more of an information video. You know you can talk, Tristan, right? Huh? You know you can talk, right? No. Yeah, you can talk. Oh. Better than me talking the whole time. 
<laughs> Where are we talking all the time? Ooh, we're not gonna make that. We might make that turn, y'all. Nope, collisions. I would have made that turn without collisions. And Tristan also got himself a new car. We'll check that out here in a second. Oh. Little old C7 radio car. You already know. Oh, you're just gonna tell him straight up. Okay. I mean, shit, there's a whole lot more to that car than just radio and C7. <laughs> so it's a nice car. Oh, it's a nice car. I give him that. We're probably going to. Yeah, they ain't going to make it out. Hopefully it doesn't glitch out when the door shuts on it. Because I know the door's going to shut on it. So let's go ahead and attach it. Take that all the way to the front. Lower it right there. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for duct tape. Take it back. There you go. So cars are loaded. Oh, actually, while we're here, y'all, let's go ahead and show you the motor real quick. That for the for Bad Apple. It's not that one. We're gonna go it's basically the same setup the Warrior had, which is kind of done. Like Warrior is no longer gonna be a car anymore. It's behind the barn, sitting there, and it's gonna sit there probably for the rest of its life. But this is a 632 big block. It has big Duke heads on it. Basically, single carburetor setup, two, uh, three stages of nitrous. So we're good to go there. Fantastic looking motor. But I'm gonna leave it here with LJ because I'm gonna let him build that. God, I got. Oh my God. Look at the pistons for it. Jesus Christ. I trust him, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and leave here. So that way, hopefully, he'll be back here in a few days. Maybe today, hopefully. Let's snoop around for a little bit. What is this type of transmission right here? It's a weird transmission. Alright. Oh. Let's take a look at LJ's car. Oh, I almost called Tristan LJ, y'all, because she said LJ's name so much just then. Let's take a look at his new radio car, as he calls no, it. Oh, you can do what you want. It's a radio car. It's a radio car. Don't worry. Let me put my hoodie on. Hey, sir. That's a, that's a funny-looking uh, turbo there. That's not a turbo. I know it is. It's a Pro Charger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it, belt-driven? It's belt-driven, yeah. Okay. I think so. And I bought it not too long ago. I bought the chassis, built her up straight from the ground. Pro charge radio. We got some. I got a small tire slick coming in here soon for it. You already know we got the two GoPros on the back. I did have a make radio sure, car. Make sure I can record you getting gapped. And then <laughs> here I'll show you the interior. I had a radio car. Just so you know, whoever just joined, watch what you say. I am recording. Jeez. Your interior. You got enough wires in there, bud. I mean, hey. It's, it's a nice car. I did some nice work on it. I can tell. Dude. MDK on top. About maybe just ban him. I about ban him. Just... Do you, what part don't you understand about I'm making a video? Do you not understand? Oh, that? you're making a video. Well, baby, baby, yeah. baby. Oh, yeah. we'll talk to you afterwards. Just go to like Sid 10 real quick. You're good. Sorry. Nice car though. What is it? Fiberglass or is it actually all steel? It's a uh, it's fiberglass body. Okay. You gotta get the weight around. So. No, no, I Nova Nova's probably gonna be the same way. It's gonna be most front end's gonna be fiberglass. It's gonna be fiberglass. Trunk's gonna be yeah, fiberglass. The front end's in the back of the trailer. I can hear it. I'll grab the front end real quick. Front end's nice. Yeah, I'll take one out. Let's look at it before I go ahead and head back to the house. It's sweet, it's sweet. Oh, it does look pretty gangster. It's a it's a clean looking radio car. I mean <laughs> I don't race radial that much, but uh, I've got a new setup coming in for it here soon. So. Jesus Christ. Well, uh, I'll let you get on the way with that. Okay. New chassis? New chassis and hunk of junk. Just bought a roller. 
I know, oh, Jacob, uh, basically we took, we had whatever was left of Warrior's Chassis, which wasn't much. It was more of just, nothing was left to Warrior. Let me just put that out there. So we just went and bought a new oh, chassis. I saw it. I saw the car. I mean, I don't know. I need you to let me know where I can get that uh, Bluetooth uh, drive shaft right there. I need that thing in my life. Well, you see, it ain't Bluetooth. It's just, you know. I don't know how it's propped up, though. I mean, it's a little. It's just sitting there really tight, like. Oh, really tight? Okay. Yeah, it's. it's and uh, really what's, what's going on with the wires on the steering wheel? You, you see, the steering wheel is kind of invisible. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Well, this is the car that Fallout races, right? Yeah, the one that has a dented uh, quarter panel, because I am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably, probably going to put a new chute on her. Put a new parachute on her, let her roll. Yeah, not a big fan of that chute, personally. I've had I've had this car like this for like a year, maybe. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, I've had a car like this for a while. So yeah. It's probably good to change it up. Put the old... Yeah, oh, I, I, I almost spoiled it just then. Holy. I almost spoiled it just then. Jesus Christ. What? I almost, I was about to say what I was about to do to the car, like, motor-wise. Oh, almost yeah. more. God, I gotta watch what I say. But, yeah, we're gonna head back to the house. Other than that, we're just gonna, this is more of a little picking up the new chassis. And hopefully next video, we will have the car running. And maybe going to the next event. I'm not sure what the plans would be. But, whatever the plans would be, we'll catch you in the next one. Later, boys.